Okay, I had to move over because that JCB wanted by. <laughs> I was coming across the river as he came down to the river, and of course, I gave way. <laughs> And the, the driver stopped in the middle of the river, was asking what I'd caught, and very nice. <laughs> asking me if I was having fun. <laughs> Forestry over there, I think he's been digging out something. Okay, a little bit of excitement <laughs> meeting a GCB. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? It was right in the middle of the fast stretch of the river at the time. Now, I would say this is one of the nicer pools on the upper stretch here. Usually a lot of fish in it. Nice, well defined pools. I'm not going to fish here on the tail. I'm going to fish over there, where you can see the under those trees basically. And this has actually changed a bit since the last time I was here. That shingle bar up there, you can see it's got growing. So the river used to come really fast down. Okay. We will feed a single little nymph, no indicator, anything, down this pool. In the deep bit of this pool. I'll just show you, it's kind of emerging caddis, but kind of flashy body. I'm sure we're going to see nice fish in a minute. No deer can resist this emerging caddis. Just let it swing down to try and get it down into the holes. And since it's a bit flashy as well, I can also strip it back slightly. Okay, go down this bit of the pool with it. Down the shingle beach, down the bank. Drop it down into the hole if I can. And what's happening? Anything? You've seen it. I'm jigging it a little bit. Oh, a <laughs> fish took that. <laughs> well, it's meant to, but <laughs> why didn't it stay on? It's just not playing. It's just not fair. Could have been a big fish. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's a small fish that went. I felt it bumping a couple of times. And then it does work, it gets down to them. Oh, there we go. Don't know if it's much better. Huh? It's a small one again. Well, that's right, they're not rising, they're down in the bottom. Not spoiled, not rising. Just a small brownie. Okay, it's off, because it's a barbless. The nymph is in the net. But not tangled, because it's a barbless. Huge upwind flies are passing by. Almost like may mayflies. Not quite sure, but some big upwind insect must have been hatching. Oh, okay. A little brown trout. Don't take long with the nymph. <laughs> you get that dry fly rubbish in this deeper pool. There's nothing really rising, so nymph was the obvious thing. Nymph was in the vegetation. 
big fishes still rise in the back of the pool. I'm going to try that different style of fly for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Huge trout. Oh my goodness. That's a big trout. Yep. Yep, I like the know. That was the one I think that chased the fly earlier. You can see the size of this. It's huge. This small river. That is huge. No way. Oh, it's a brook trout or something. Yeah, yeah, it's a huge brook trout. Oh my god, the goodness. <laughs> that is, yeah, it's like a char. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the condition it's in. Well, that is unusual. <laughs> it's huge. I'm sure it's got very sharp teeth. Just like my oh oh it's just right in the top lip. There we go. That is nice. Oh, oh hopefully you're doing it justice. There we go. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have taken a picture of it. There's another one in there as well. It was worth the visit. It was worth the perseverance. Wow. We call them lake trout here, I think. As you could see the the red underneath. The white fins, that's like a char. Wow. Brook trout was America's, I think we'd call it. That surprised me. That surprised me. Really fit fish. I don't know if you can see that fish right in against the wall there.